Hey Mike here, we gotta compete with the automotive department because they got engines and stuff, but so do we. We got jet engines. They're called Woosh Bottle. Yeah. And so today we're gonna do some racing. Diggity diggity diggity. Okay, here's the deal, guys. What we're gonna do is an experiment. When you do an experiment, you try to keep everything constant but the one variable that you change. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my friend the Woosh Bottle. You know how much I love this thing. We're gonna set it on its side so it's sort of like a little low-powered rocket with all the fumes coming out one end, equal and opposite reaction the other way. So what we've got is we've got the alcohol that we've used to use uh, for the numerous times that we've done this is called isopropyl alcohol to propanol. And we're gonna compare it to one propanol. Does it burn quicker? Does it burn slower? And the reason they have these names is it's the location of this alcohol group, the OH group. Here it's on carbon one, so one propanol. Here it's on carbon two, so two propanol. And that's what makes it an alcohol, is the OH group. Say it with me, OH, alcohol group. Anyhow, so uh, what's gonna happen is they have slight different uh, properties and we'll see which one makes a whoosh bottle fly further on the ground. First, we're gonna start with one propanol and we are gonna use exactly 25 milliliters, more than enough to fill up this 25 liter whoosh bottle. Shake it around for about, actually let's do each one the same amount. We'll do each for like say three minutes. I just made that number up, but they were gonna keep everything constant. So three minutes of shaking. That was eight seconds. It's making some pressure in there. This is the prep room. Each of these tiles is two feet long. So we'll make this the start line, see how far one propanol goes. Here we go. <sighs> Nothing. Slow. I kind of predicted that because one propanol has a really, really low boiling point. It didn't even give it enough propulsion to move the thing. But two propanol, isopropyl alcohol, alcohol <laughs> is the king of whoosh bottling. The only problem is I gotta get this empty now. There's water vapor in there and there's only one way to get it all out. Oh man, it's tiring. Two propanol. Got a much lower boiling point, vaporizes more easily. I expect more out of this guy. <laughs> How many feet was that? Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty feet. Bang. Isopropyl alcohol. Money with the whoosh bottle. Thanks. <laughs>